Man, a stinking iPad won't turn on. What's that? What's that? This is cooler. I see a turtle. So now, oh yeah. One leg. There's a head. Well, that might make a better head. Now, I wonder, oh, there's another one. Oh, there's one more. We need one more leg. Can you guys see it anywhere? Right there. Sweet. We have everything right here. This laying on the floor. Well, let's go make a turtle. Now we start making a turtle with the upcycler. Take 69. Action. So we're going to start with this big bad salad spoon, I think, what it is. I'm not sure what it really is for. But you find them all the time in the, in the boxes from Goodwill. So we'll cut it really short. We're going to end up having to grind it all off. I save all the handles. And I will, I will explain. I gotta pick which head I like better. Man, I definitely like this one better. This one's kind of got a funny look to it, so we'll set it off to the side. And I cut the heads about three quarters to seven eighths of an inch. No, I don't measure anything. That wouldn't be any fun. The legs. So you see here, I've got two tablespoons and then a fork and a spoon. So. Same thing, about, this one's gonna be about an inch and a quarter. And we'll shear it. Now, when I do this, I will utilize that for all the legs. The front and the back. I will make the fronts just a little bit shorter, but not a whole bunch. So now that that one's cut, I'll reuse this one on here. So now, these will get turned into something totally different. So these will all get saved. Every piece we save, I'm gonna take this fork, and I'm actually not gonna cut this fork up. I'm gonna go find another one, because this will make an arm for one of my Zen frogs. So check out the merch link in my, in my bio, guys. Check out the store, theupcycler.com, and see what we got for good. For so now we're just gonna kinda of dig around and find a fork in this pile of junk here that's laying here. Oh, a ring. We got rings on our website, guys. Oh, look at this. A Zen frog that I was cutting. Yeah, that's one of the Zen frogs. So now we get the fork, or a fork kind. There we go. I'll use this. Nah, one. I better not. There's another junk pile right here. Look at that. There's even a fork tine in there. There's the tail. Okay, so now I'm gonna kind of lay this out. I don't want to mix up the legs. So, there's the body, the head the tail and now we just got to find the belly but cool thing is we have the other half of the spoon so I think I'm gonna use this one though. yeah this one looks better so again we'll leave it a little long we're gonna have to take over take it over and grind this anyway so there you go there's the belly now we're gonna head over to the grinder and we're gonna clean these sharp edges up and make them nice and round Good. Now to do the belly. Take over the wire brush. And just take any burrs off of them. I don't want to affect the finish too much, but that's going to get heated anyway. So now it's time to put this mop shop of a hair back into a tie so I can get my buff on. And guys, I don't... Uh, Advise anybody not wearing gloves to weld. I've been doing this long enough. I know where to keep my fingers. And uh, don't put your fingers where you wouldn't put your... So it's it's gonna get a little hot, but not right away. I have time to move my fingers out of the way from where I'm gonna weld this right now. So now I'm gonna take it over to the vise. And I'm actually gonna put it in the vise, make it a little easier. Just gently put it in the vise. We don't wanna put too much pressure and bend the spoon. And now we've got the head. And I'm gonna take and just bend the head back a little bit on the bender. So as you see, I've got a, a little bit different ring bender than, than most people. I have this custom made for me. I do have these available if you're interested, you guys. And it, you know what? I can bend stainless steel. I can bend almost anything in this bender. And as you can see, it's huge. It's got way bigger dies, way beefier. 
Um, we're working on, on all kinds of upgrades all the time on them, but it works phenomenal. So go ahead and attach the head now, just lining it up. Quick little cap. Silver is very thin and uh, it does melt away as you can see. We burned a little bit of the, the edge off there. No big deal, that's on the bottom. So now let's we'll move over to the legs. We're gonna take these through the bender as well. So come on along, we'll bend them up. So again, about half an inch, bending them to about a 45 degree angle on all of them. I'll probably go to about three eighths of an inch on the front legs. Same thing, 45 degree angle. This is the back leg. So a little bit more. Now we can, we can adjust them after. Just like that. So I go about a third of the way in and just attach. I'm trying to put a tack in the center of it. I'll come back after and put it on the side. And we're gonna put a little bit of a zig in it. Thanks. We'll just put a little bit of a, a kink in one way, flip, flip it over and do the, the same a little bit further up. Now, I don't know if they have twisted tails, but that's what I'm giving. Same thing, just hold it there. Quick little tack. So now I'm gonna just put a couple more tacks on the outside corners of the legs. I find one little tack never works enough to hold them. The, the stainless is brittle when you heat it. While it's in there, I'm gonna take the pliers and I'm gonna take the wire brush <coughs> and just clean up any of this stuff here now while it's still in the vise. And I like to use a brass brush because it leaves a bit of a, a copper finish underneath. Rub it all over. Voila. Now for the review. So now we just got a few minor adjustments to do on the on the feet, the legs, tapping it all so that they lay nice and flat and it doesn't rock on the table. So I'm gonna say that's a check. Now one last thing to do because this girl's hot. We're gonna use the pliers, but we're gonna take it over and we're gonna put our stamp on it. So we run a three ton arbor press and I'm gonna actually stamp the head of this turtle. As you can see, we've got hardened dies that have the upcycler put on them. And I will just bring it down. I'm gonna try my best to get it over this. the big three ton arbor press it doesn't take a lot to set that stamp Just one little hit like that remember it's hot don't grab it there we have it ladies and gentlemen boys and girls making a turtle with the upcycler so you guys can purchase these on my website at www.theupcycler t-h-e-e-u-p-c-y-c-l-e-r.com there's also a link in my bio to all of my other channels, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Clapper, so many more guys. We're on Twitch, we're on Patreon, check us out. Make sure you hit that like button if you like the content, share it with your friends. Are you filming? And we'll see you next time. We're gonna do a dragonfly.